What's up, everybody? Um, just sitting in the airport. Airports are a total disaster. Uh, a lot of people have asked me who can challenge Levon. Um, right after facing him, I was like, yeah, nobody, nobody can face him. <laughs> uh, but uh, while I do think that he is the heavy favorite against the entire field, I had some time to think about it over this transit. Um, I'd say there's there's a, a couple groups. I'd say that there's the up-and-comers. Uh, as in, you got uh, Hermes and Alex Kredetja. I think that these guys are still both very young and the potential is very high. Uh, both of them are making great gains and who knows who knows? You never want to discount anybody. Um, there's Gennady. I don't think Gennady can do it. I think that Gennady's time with Levon has kind of passed. However, if Gennady wanted the match, there's probably nobody who's better aware of exactly where Levon sits than Gennady Kvikvinia. So it would probably be over to him if he thought he could do it. Um, then I would say the Russians. And there's three that uh, kind of come to mind. I would say uh, Dmitry Salaev. He just had an outstanding performance. And while I think that um, he's incredible and really strong showing, I still have Levon by, by a large margin and then there's Vitaly even though Vitaly lost to Dimitri uh, I still in my mind think that probably out of everyone he has maybe the best chance he knows very well his level and he is a giant and if he came in prepared enough I think I think he would have a, a chance again not the favorite but a chance and then the last name that I would mention that uh, they would just be incredible um, I almost don't really want to see it because I think um, frightens me a little bit to think of the consequences but it's got to be Dennis Saplankov uh, and I'd also like to see that match be left and right if it were to happen because it would be an opportunity for the Legacy Hammers to come together really for a first time. Um, so you could have two, you could have one guy holding both hammers potentially, which is pretty exciting. Um, I think that anybody who considers facing Levon has really got to do their homework uh, before before the match. Really understand what you're working with in terms of rules, whatever, because it's going to make a difference. And then from there, understand Levon's numbers. Understand the strength. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, it could be some guy from Strongman or some giant coming into sport. Yeah but not for five to seven years. Uh, Levon's too good of an arm wrestler to let any giant just come in and beat him. He's, you know, nobody is just gonna come in and beat Levon, uh, even if they are bigger and stronger than him, which there's not very many people like that. Um, but if there were a giant to come into the sport now, they would still need five to seven years, I believe. But yeah, you gotta look at the numbers, you gotta do the evaluation, can you do a partial curl of 300? Can you do a wrist curl of 220 pounds? You know, look at the numbers. How do you fit in? Is there a hole? Or else you'll, you know, you, you might walk away with some wounds if you, if you go all in against them, which is cool, which is awesome. Anyways, um, good times coming, guys. Have a, have a great day, everybody.